This video is a demonstration to show how you can use OrganSyst as an overlay for Houtwork to design your own console layout. For this demonstration I'm using St John's Cantius in Krakow. Thank you very much uh, to Peter Kroboski, which is a, obviously a tab instrument and I've used the existing layout that is provided with OrganAssist. I've renamed it because we're going to edit this. And at the moment I can play something and it plays the organ perfectly normally and I can click on stops on organ assist so you can see that as it is already it can be used to drive how it work so let's edit this organ but before we do anything there is one setting you must make sure is correct which is the ignore MIDI feedback must not be checked that will become important later on. So let's edit this layout and we can do things like we can resize the keyboards by holding down the shift key and dragging but it, more than that it allows you to just temporarily hide the keyboard so you've got a bit more space to work with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the couplers because I'm going to treat them separately Take these down to here. And having done that, I'm just going to also resize these. You'll see why. So if I take one of the stops, I can overlay on the screen a grid. And using the plus key, you can make it bigger and smaller. And so I'm going to take this stop and I'm going to make it about three wide and two high. I can then copy the details of this and then I can ask that all stops that are similar to the one that is now highlighted will be the same size. So that gives me a starting position. Now what I will do is I will start laying out these stops on the grid in a British format, format for a draw stop instrument. I will speed the video up because otherwise you'll get a bit bored. You can see it just takes a few minutes to drag all the stops into the right position. What I'm now going to do is move the couplers out of the way and I'm going to highlight all of these stops and turn them into draw stops by changing the selected shape. Obviously this is not really the size I want to start with so I'm going to change the size of this one and I can copy that and then I can paste that information to size all similar stops to this one to be the same. And then we can split those and put them on the other side of the screen. Let's just get that in the way. So if I take these, I can move them over here and move them up a little bit. So they're there. And just move these up to match. Notice I only need to include the top left hand corner of a stop to include it in the selection. So bring that up. So if I now save this and show the keyboards again, we now have an instrument that's in a draw stop layout. And if I save that, 
you can see that if I play a piece, it works exactly the same and I can change the stops exactly as I could before. However, it's not just that you can change the layout using Organ Assist, you can also incorporate master couplers and master combinations on the same screen. Now these couplers here were provided with the instrument. And one of the confusions with this instrument compared with an English layout is that the manuals are numbered 1, 2 and 3 and so are the couplers. If we click on manual 1 you can see that on this screen on the left here it says division equals great. Organ Assist always thinks of keyboard as being great, swell, choir, etc. no matter what the displayed name is. And so when I set up this instrument I set up manual 3 to be the swell. There were a couple of reasons for that. Firstly it had 16, 8 and 4 foot reeds. It was also enclosed uh, with an expression pedal whereas keyboard 2 had various mutations and was unenclosed. So therefore logically uh, the top keyboard is the swell. And I can just change the name of that. And that now means that these couplers, the equivalent, the names are updated automatically. They would have said 2 and 1 and 3 and 1. Now it says coupler swell to choir. So that makes sense to me. And I'll just take some time to rename them again. I'll speed it up to save your time. I can line these up a little bit better than this by aligning them as tab stops. I can make them a little bit taller and I can copy that size and then paste it to similar ones to this. But I can now add octave couplers. So if I take the pedal couplers and have them in the British layout, so we would have great to pedal, swell to pedal and choir to pedal. If I add a new stop and make this great to pedal four foot, so great to pedal octave, if you look at this screen, at the bottom there is now a button that says Set Default MIDI for Hauptwerk. If I click that, it generates the correct MIDI sequence for this particular coupler on Hauptwerk. And so if I now toggle this stop, if we have a look at Hauptwerk, I need the master couplers for the pedal division. And there you can see that the four foot great to pedal has been selected, even though it was not visible. Yeah. And so I can I could do the same with others. I could add octave couplers. I can also add octave couplers between manuals. So if we use swell to pedal and we take the swell to great and we take a copy of that. And we can make that a sub octave coupler. And we do a coupler, swell, to great, sub-octave. And again, if I press this button, it generates the correct MIDI. So now when I toggle it, and notice it's key division 3, which is the correct division. And so you could add various octave couplers and include them in the layout however you wish. In addition to using master couplers like this, you can also use master combinations and also scoped combinations to set up divisional pistons. I should highlight the fact that combinations are not supported in Organ Assist normally. The combinations provided here are purely for use as a front end and overlay for help work. They are not recorded, they're not played back. All they do is trigger a MIDI sequence to Hauptwerk 
to select the particular combination. So if we start by having some general combinations, and I'll put the keyboards in the right order. We'll add a stop and we'll make this general combination number one. So notice we've got various things in this list. We've got combinations that represents built-in combinations within Houtwork, for instance with St Anne's, but if the instrument does not have built-in combinations you've got Master Generals and Master Scoped. So if I take Master General 1, this has now, by clicking this button, it has created the correct MIDI for Master General 1. I can put that here and then if I come to the right and click Add Stop, it if it is near a combination, it just creates the next one in the sequence. So I can just do this across like this, and it's adding all the general combinations. And if I click on that one, there we are. You can see it's hit a general combination, and help work has sent back the stops, and stops have been changed on the pet the swell pedal choir and great. And if I toggle another one, etc. If I want divisional pistons, if I take this one and I make it number one again, and this time I come down and I do a master scoped piston, and I'm going to do it for the grate. So there's the grate. There's the code for it. If I put that up here and then again I can do the same thing, just add stops to the right. And if I select one of those you can see that the stops are only being changed on the grate. I have configured scoped combinations A to affect the pedals, B to affect grate, C swell and D choir. In spite of the way the keyboards are numbered on this instrument. But Organ Assist when it creates the combinations looks at the channel assignments uh, for the keyboards and uses that to calculate the correct code. So hopefully it should work for all instruments. And I could do the same. Now add a stop and bring it up here and do some divisionals for the swell. Master scoped one for the swell. And then again add the stops across. If I just make it tidy by adding a sixth on each one of these, if I save that, I now have a draw stop instrument with octave couplers and with divisional combinations for the swell, the great and general master combinations. Organ Assist also supports the stepper so if you wish to use the stepper you can create a stop And change that to be zero. And if you look through the equivalents, you will find stepper. And again, if you start with zero and then just near it, add a stop, 
that's previous and again that's next and it's put in the correct MIDI so if I save that we now have an overlay that has divisional combinations general combinations and if I go through the stepper and you can lay this out however you wish and that's uh, less than 30 minutes work to this point. Hope people find this useful. Give me feedback if you have any problems with it.